What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is a little bit of speculation, but more than likely there is a nice degree of truth to this story. I love Capcom. I love the games that they made over the last, you know, 10, 20 years. It's been a great selection of games. And one of those games in Capcom's long catalog is the Devil May Cry series. Now, Devil May Cry has seen lots of highs, lots of lows. I think the low being Devil May Cry 2, the high possibly being Devil May Cry 3, uh, and Devil May Cry 4 was all right. Didn't really like the, the narrow character. And of course, one of the great highs of the Devil May Cry series was Ninja Theory's DMC, Devil May Cry Reboot, which saw fan praise and critical appeal. So Devil May Cry is a very unique series, and I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. And a new Devil May Cry could be right around the corner. I'll drop a link in the description. Devil May Cry 5 possibly teased by Capcom developer. Devil May Cry and Dragon's Dogma developer Hideke Itsuno teases a new game announcement for 2017. Could it be a sequel to either of these franchises? Capcom alum Hideke Itsuno has a very particular New Year's resolution to announce a new game in 2017. What could it be? In a recent tweet, Itsuno teased that he will reveal a new title this year. Considering Itsuno is responsible for a sizable chunk of Capcom's games, there's lots of possibilities, but we have a pretty good reason to think it'll be Devil May Cry 5. Although Itsuno's influence is found in various Capcom franchises like Capcom vs. SNK and even JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, he is best known for his work on the Devil May Cry and Dragon's Dogma series. Itsuno directed four Devil May Cry games, Devil May Cry 2, Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening, Devil May Cry 4, and the prequel DMC. On top of this, last year Capcom revealed that a new Devil May Cry game is in development pipeline leading up to fiscal year 2017. Other games on that list include Dead Rising 4 and a new Monster Hunter game. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and Resident Evil 7 have since come to fruition and it's high time for Devil May Cry 5 to be announced. On the flip side, there's a chance Capcom could reveal a new Dragon's Dogma game. Itsuno directed both Dragon's Dogma and Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon. And I've always hoped that Dragon's Dogma Online would come to the West. Maybe Itsuno is even working on Capcom's long lost deep down game too. But given all the evidence, we really think it's Devil May Cry 5. If it's Devil May Cry 5, I'm really excited to see the return of old school Dante, older Dante, white haired Dante. Uh, I love the series. I really love the story that's been told uh, with the Sparta. But the thing is this, right? They introduced new characters and Devil May Cry 4, they kind of took a lot of the spotlight off of Dante and put it on this new character, Nero, with this long reaching arm. Uh, and, you know, I like new things, but for me, Devil May Cry has always been about Dante, this badass. And when you try to take it away from him and basically put a clone of him in the game that isn't as engaging and isn't as exciting, it takes away, for me at least, from the overall appeal of the game. So I want Devil May Cry to be more in line with what they did with DMC as far as style. I want Devil May Cry to be back to the older Dante. I want him to have gone through some things, learned some new abilities, and continue to tread on and be the badass that we know he is. Hopefully we see this this year. It's going to be an exciting year. It's just getting started, guys. 2017 is going to be awesome. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Are you a fan of Devil May Cry? Which was your favorite and which was your worst? Let me know below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I do have a cold. I'll see you guys next time.